Hi everyone, I want to try something a little different today. As you're probably aware, Squarespace frequently make changes to the user interface these days. And what I've done so far is I've always listed them in my Studio Notes newsletter. But because sometimes there are so many changes, my newsletters can be quite long and I don't really like that very much. So I want to try something new and I'm going to just record uh, and actually show you um, on the screen what these changes are, you know, as they come in and as I become aware of them. So let us get started for today. So the first change uh, that I want to share with you is to collections. Um, collections in Squarespace are blog posts, portfolio items, commerce items and um, events. And collections have so-called thumbnails. Well, that's what they used to be called. Squarespace have actually changed that now and they're now called featured image. So across the board, you will see the reference to feature image. And those are actually the thumbnails that will show up in your list, you know, in your collections list here or on the collection page. And what they have done is where you don't have a featured image, you will now see a gray placeholder. So this is actually really nice. This way you can see at a glance very easily where you still need to add a featured image. A featured image is important um, because without one, if wherever you list um, a collection, you will not see the thumbnail. So make sure that you add that. And it's really easy. You just go into the settings for the item and then here you just add a featured image and that's it. The next change is for button styling. And I actually really like this, um, what they've done here. Uh, and by the way, um, this change is for 7.1 uh, and the subsequent changes are also relating to 7.1. Um, so if you go to site styles, here we have a section for button styling. Uh, and the shape that we've always had is square, rounded and pill. But now we have three more options. So let's go through this. Uh, petal gives it this, you know, petal shape. That's quite nice. Um, so if you just have a look, you know, it changes it to that everywhere. Uh, and then we also have the oval. Now, I don't know if I'm that much a fan of the oval. I think if you have like a longer... Um, you know, um, line here, you know, like more words or longer words. I'm not sure I like that so much, you know, but for shorter works, it seems to work quite nicely. Uh, and the one that I like the most is the underline. Uh, so this basically gives your button just an underline. And you can see here, our button still has a background color. So what if we only want to have an underline? Well, that's easy to change. You just go to your color section here and uh, go into the color settings for the theme that you where you want to change this. And then we just click on this here and it will show us button background. And now I could just make it the same background as this um, uh, theme here, for instance. And uh, so now it is just like a proper underline. I really like uh, what we can do with the buttons now. I think uh, that those are some really nice options that we have now with the underline and uh, also the petal shape, for instance. Uh, so I'm actually going to discard all the changes here because I don't want to save any, any of that for now. All right. Um, now, another um, thing that they have done is uh, blogging. So if you want people to leave comments, it used to be, you know, when you clicked on post comment, you had options to either uh, do post anonymously or to log in, to log into Squarespace or Facebook. They don't offer that option anymore now. They don't offer login anymore for commenting. So if you want people uh, to be able to leave comments on your blog, make sure if you go to settings and blogging, uh, go to your comment settings, make sure that allow anonymous comments is checked. If that is checked, then people will see the comment box here. Uh, now, I think if someone comments who is a Squarespace user and who's logged into Squarespace, I think when they post it, uh, then it will recognize that and then it will just um, post the comment, you know, with their Squarespace information. Um, so, but that's important, you know, so make sure that allow anonymous comments is turned on. Um, 
Another change that they have introduced uh, is an update to the commerce uh, section and to the inventory. I really like this. So if you go to your inventory now, you can actually on the inventory page change uh, the stock numbers and you can change your price and you can also put items on sale. So you can do this all on this page now. You don't actually have to drill into the product itself, which is what we used to have to do. And that was, you know, if you have bulk updates to your pricing or to your stock numbers, that's just been a pain in the butt. And so now we can just do it all on this page here, uh, which is a little bit more like what Shopify can do, right? And uh, so I like this a lot. I think that's a very good change. The other update is also um, in the commerce area, uh, and that is to our product display. So if I go to the design uh, and then click on the product design. So right now I'm using the simple format and now we can have a um, half format. So it actually takes up the whole half of the page. Uh, and then you can just scroll through all the thumbnails. Um, then you can have a full format that basically gives you a banner slideshow for your product, uh, which can be quite nice. And you can also do a wrap. So you have again, you know, ha uh, the whole half of your page is an image. And then you have a grid of all the other images below. Now, in my case, um, I just prefer the uh, simple image uh, for this particular product. But for some products, I think this, these are really nice options. Okay, so the last change that I have is actually not on the website, it's in Unfold. Now, you might not be aware that Squarespace purchased Unfold last year. What is Unfold? Unfold is an app that you download on your phone uh, for Instagram. Uh, and you can basically um, uh, create templates and Unfold. That is how they started. Uh, they also have something called bio sites. You know, so uh, this is something you can link to in your Instagram profile. And then you just have your, it's kind of like the link tree, right? So uh, if you go to my Instagram, you'll see it. If you click on my uh, bio link, uh, I am using bio sites. I like them a lot actually. And, um, and then the other thing that you can do is you can plan your Instagram um, posts now in Unfold. At the beginning, this was very basic, so I never used it, but they've actually made some really nice updates to it now. Uh, so I have started using it and I like it. Uh, so I just took some screenshots for you because otherwise I don't know how to demonstrate my phone. Uh, so this is basically what my grid looks like. Um, and then here, wherever I have the Instagram symbol, that is uh, what's published on my Instagram. And then this photo here is not published yet. You just click on add to the grid and then you can upload a photo to it. Uh, so when you click on this photo, um, let me go to the next slide. This is what you see. So here you have the option to add a caption. And then here you can schedule your photo as well. That is what's new. So you can actually now schedule posting to Instagram, which is great. Uh, if you just add a caption and you want to upload the photo now, uh, you just uh, click on, um, sorry, uh, let me go to the previous one again. You, you go up here, you know, click on the, the um, this icon up here, the download or upload icon. Uh, you'll see this here at the bottom, then you just click on Instagram and then you'll see these two options, post automatically. And if you just hit post, it will just post it for you. We don't actually have to open Instagram and then paste uh, the description anymore. Uh, I love this, you know, it's actually instant now. However, if you prefer to um, open it in Instagram first, and paste the caption because maybe you want to add some things, maybe you want to add another hashtag, or uh, maybe you want to create a slideshow, uh, then use the go to Instagram to post option, you know, but otherwise you can just post it immediately. I think that's great, I love that. Uh, and then uh, let's go back to this image. So now if you want to schedule it, you just click on a date and time. And sorry, I don't know what it's doing here now. Uh, Sorry, this was my uh, photos <laughs> slideshow doing something funny. 
uh, and then it will bring up your schedule. So you just pick your date and the time. Uh, and then again, you have an option uh, that on the date it will post automatically or it will send you a reminder, you know, just in case, I don't know, you want to still add something or maybe you want to change your mind about it. Um, I really like the post automatically uh, option though. Um, and when you do that, you know, you will see this that message here. And then in your grid here at the top uh, where the schedule icon is, you will see that you have scheduled posts. And if you click on that, then here you would get a list of all of your scheduled posts. Yeah, so I actually, I really love that, you know, and uh, so I think Unfold is becoming a really nice app. So I hope you enjoyed this little update. Uh, I will probably post these like every week or every other week. And uh, so make sure you come back here if you want to stay up to date with what's going on with Squarespace. Thank you so much.